Hello Internet, Shroom here, and tonight we're heading to the MTG Arena Explorer format with some deep jank. We are going to score some points with a Strixhaven Stadium uh, Proliferate Toxic combo. Let's take a look at what we're working with. So our primary win condition is Strixhaven Stadium. This is a 3 mana rock. It can tap for one colorless mana. Put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, remove a point counter from it. When a creature you control deals combat damage to an opponent, put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Then if it has 10 or more point counters on it, remove them all and that player loses the game. So this is kind of the primary way we're trying to win. We're trying to get 10 point counters on Strixhaven Stadium by tapping it and by attacking with evasive creatures. Um, in particular, we have unblockable creatures like these Slither Blades like this two of mercurial spell dancer which i like because it's two power um so there's some universe where we might just win the old-fashioned way via combat damage um also have a four of suspicious stowaway which can't be blocked and can eventually flip into something that just draws us cards uh when it deals damage to an opponent which is great we want that um now there's also all of these um proliferate spells in phyrexia all will be one so we're running some of those as well to um help us put extra point counters on the stadium uh, we're running a four of grateful apparition which is a 1-1 flyer so it's evasive and when it does damage to a player a planeswalker proliferate so we add additional counters to our stadium when it hits uh, we're also running a four of experimental augury which is just anticipate but proliferate so that's good we want to dig for our stadiums you know other useful cards um, also a two of serum snare which is a just a bounce effect, but if the permanent had meta value 3 or less, proliferate. So it can bounce those Goblin Shaman tokens. Uh, it's very good against tokens, and it proliferates. Um, now, we don't just want proliferate for Strixhaven Stadium. Like, um, we want to have other things to do with proliferate as well, uh, because just using it for the stadium isn't really that much value. So we're also running a little bit of a toxic package. We've got three of Skrelv, which can make our stuff toxic to get that initial poison counter on our opponents. Also can protect our stuff from removal spells, uh, help our creatures get it get in past blockers. Um, we've got a four of Flensing Raptor, which is a 2-2 flyer with toxic one. So that's another thing that we can proliferate. We can add additional poison counters to our opponents. Um, also, we're running a couple of we're also running a couple of Planeswalkers. Um, one Wandering Emperor is just a really, you know, it's just a very powerful walker that creates bodies. Um, going wide is a very good strategy for um, Strixhaven Stadium because, um, you know, more creatures means that it's more difficult for our opponents to block them. Uh, and we've got a one of Elspeth's son's nemesis, who I like because she can make two tokens with her minus two. Uh, and again, we want to go wide. We also have a couple of wedding announcements to that end. Um, that will put creatures onto the battlefield, which we want. It can also help us to draw cards if we attack with two more creatures. That's awesome. We can also proliferate uh, wedding announcement invitation tokens onto it in order to flip it to its anthem side uh, sooner if that's something that we're interested in. So that is the main plan. We're going to score points. Um, we've got uh, lay down arms for some interaction. We are, you know, just a two color deck. We're running a bunch of planes. So. There's no reason not to have Lay Down Arms. I think it's a very good removal spell. There's a total of 23 lands in the deck. Uh, the sideboard has a couple of Pithy Needles for, you know, it's good in a lot of matchups. Good for, against Blue Eye Control, the name of the Planeswalkers. A um, couple of Fateful Absences for additional removal against Midrange. Three Rest in Peace for Graveyards. One Settle the Wreckage, also good against Midrange. Um, three Hushbringers are good for, like, the Money Pile matchups. There's lots of people trying to... Uh, Transmogrify, Indomitable Creativity in Atroxas, that kind of thing. Hushbringer shuts that down. Um, three Dumb's Vetoes against Control and uh, Spell Heavy Matchups. One Heliod's Intervention against Artifacts and Enchantments. So that is the plan. We're going to score. We're going to score big time. We're going to proliferate our points. We're going to proliferate our toxic counters. Add loyalty to our Planeswalkers. Should be really fun. I haven't really played this deck much at all. So... Um, We'll see how it goes. Um, I think it's pretty janky, but we might be able to uh, jank some people out and get some wins. So let's see how, how it does uh, on the ladder. I'm very low uh, bronze right now. Uh, the season just reset, and <laughs> when you when you brew weird stuff like I do, like, you lose a lot of games in, in the interim of like coming up with something somewhat viable. So that's the score. Uh, if you like this kind of off-meta, off-kilter MTG content, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Let's get into matches on the ladder. All right, first match is against Dad's 94, who is gold to our bronze. 
Um, this is okay. We've got a stadium, so we want that. Uh, there's 23 lands in there, I believe. Um, do I shock for a turn one to the blade? I think so. Oh great, we're getting some mono green. Not a good matchup for us, game one. Don't know if it's good post board. Okay, I feel the rune is good. I, I guess I attack Yora. Time to clam up. She starts with such a ridiculous amount of loyalty. It's stupid. Lay down arms for the troll would be nice. Let's just play our stadium. We've got nothing else to do. I ebb and flow with battle. So they have roughly infinite mana. Be wary of the ground you walk on. We're gonna die pretty fast to their board if we don't draw something. Oh, I didn't tap the stadium on their end step. That was dumb. It says verified only chat. Is that you? I don't know what you mean. Um, I guess we're going to continue attacking Kiora. Now I'm salty. I don't know. It seems like a lost cause to go after Kiora. I should probably just have been attacking them with the stowaway and looting since we've drawn like nothing but lands this game. Uh, okay, so still away. So we're just gonna die to their to their board. Um, I think we need some sideboard cards. So give me fateful absence. Give me settle the wreckage. Give me pithing needle. Just shave some of the creatures. Your chat is locked to only verified accounts. I don't know. I've never seen that. I have no idea what that is. Maybe it's asking you for your information. It probably wants your information. If it's saying that you're not a verified account.
we also drew, actually drew nothing but lands that game except for our very last draw, which is not not good. One more cuts. We'll cut in experimental augury. There we go. We got this. Maybe some Dovin's Veto would have been good for the Planeswalkers. Okay, we got a lay down arms. That's good. Do I lay down arms the or the uh, mystic? I think so. We don't want them to ramp. Let's get our raptor going. Kind of a big deal. One drop ripples and grows. We're just going to attack them. Let's get down the stadium. Make a splash. Storm the festival? Sure. Whiff. Nice. Alright, let's bounce control and proliferate. Since the Kiora? I think I do. Oh, I sure Give me an extra flopped. two mana. <laughs> Serum Snare is good. Do I go for Augury and try to find a blue source? I think so. Can I get a blue source, please? No, I cannot. They don't arms is pretty good, though. Stadium's up to eight. Octopuses, serpents. Oh, I love them all. Let's get moving. Cavalier of Thorns. Busted. There's Nyctos. But I think we got it. Score. Haha! <laughs> There's 10 point counters. We win. We scored. Wow, it actually works. Um okay. <laughs> I think I do want a couple of vetoes.
let's ditch a wedding announcement. Ditch the slither blades. We'll just go with six unblockable creatures. Well, we don't have a blue source. If we draw one, though, this hand is pretty good. We'll draw one. We're on the draw. My octopus for a walk? Nature flows with vigor. Alright, let's go for stowaway. Pretty nutty start for them. The ocean surges, life thrives. Grateful apparition. Guess I'll just play the stadium. Attack. Loot away. I like settle the wreckage. Probably loot away the Mercurial Spell Dancer. I forgot to EOT tap the stadium. Alright. Let's see if we can get him with this settle the wreckage. Settle you? I mean, I hate giving this much mana to Mono Green, but it is removing some devotion at least. They already have Nick, though. I mean, mana is not going to be an issue for them. All right, they have no follow up. Get in, draw a card. Wedding announcements. Yeah, let's play it. Should have played Grateful Apparition there. Karn. I advise that you. I will rid you of your corruption. Right, the ETB's tapped, which is good. I can bounce it twice. Sure. I'll 
do both my things. Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value extra less. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. Discard the lay down arms. <laughs> yep, nothing I can do about that. I can bounce something what would I want to bounce the wedding announcements Sky Sovereign. Oh, I only have two pl pl two planes. That sucks. So what do I needle? Sky Sovereign or Karn? And Karn's already kind of done his damage. Probably Sky Sovereign. Nykthos doing Nykthos things. Two old growth rolls. Draw two cards off Kiora. Well, we got close. We got nine points on uh, on our stadium before the Silex took it. So. One drop ripples and grows. I don't think we can win now. Yep. To a friend of mine. Well, we came close. I mean, Mono Green is still a completely, ridiculously busted deck. Uh, it's not as popular nowadays as it was, but it's still there. And we took a game, almost two games. We almost beat them. We got nine points on the board. All right, we're against Ponyum. On the play. Yeah, this looks fine. We got our stadium. We got a proliferator. Let's see if we can score. Alright, let's 
to go with planes and apparition. So it looks like it might just be world champion, world championship Grixis. Well, we do have enough planes to lay down arms of the shield, dude, so that's good. We can also get down wedding announcements. Another lay down arms. Do I want this to flip earlier? I don't think I do really. Well, let's pop here again. Get a raptor. We do get to draw a card. Ooh, Elspeth's cool. Talking Yuma to get back Shieldred. Oh, they get Blood Tithe Harvester. Shieldred just was exiled. It is just worlds, world Grixis. All right, let's exile the corpse appraiser. Let's play Elspeth. Let's make some two twos. The tragedy of my death has only strengthened my mind. courage. Will bloom in all who seek justice. Let's attack. We're gonna trade with one of my tutus.
They are empty handed. Alright, let's make some more two twos. If you are going to fight, fight beside me. Invoke despair. Well, they get full value off of this. But I can bring back Elspeth, which is good. Should have gotten creatures so that they get another portion phrase and they won't be able to activate it. No more than I can escape my shadow. They scoop. Okay. Let's go with Hushbringers to shut down the Corpse Appraisers. Vetoes. Settle the wreckage. Just trim some of our creatures. Yeah. Got it. so weird. You're actually, you are logged into Twitch though, right? Six, seven, eight. Something like this. One more cut. We'll cut a Skrelv. The, all the Hushbringers might be a little much. But we'll see. Corpse Appraiser can be devastating. Uh, can't keep six lands plus one for Emperor, unfortunately. This is much better. I'll bottom... Probably the stowaway. Or an island. I think I'll bottom an island. might need to delete and reinstall Twitch or something. I don't know. More vetoes. Removal spell. Well, 
I guess I'm gonna go for settle, and if they counter, we're pretty much done. I don't want to add counters to the bank buster. Freezer. Say go. Cut down. Sure. jump one more turn. Alright, so do I need Pithing Needles for the Bank Busters? Or Heliod's Intervention? They definitely have Fable of the Mirror Breaker too, so I'll go with one Intervention, one Needle. Oh, hi. You made it. Okay, we got some Hushbringers. We got a Stadium. Hushbringer gonna eat. Cut down a braid. What will it be? Oh, I should have played the stadium first. That was dumb. But I think I want to get wedding announcements going, actually. Counter. Sure. Stadium. They kill the Hushbringer. Let's cast the second one. Let's 
attack. Let's play our land, Augury. I'll grab another raptor. Ridiculously good. Blood Tide Harvester. Doing Vito would be nice. That way I could have settled plus Vito back up. No. I meant to summon apparition there. Oh well. Well, I have managed to pay to settle and pay for make disappear. We got nine points on the board. Like, we're actually showing lethal. They need to destroy the stadium or kill both of my creatures. Or they're dead. Alright, they deal with one of the creatures. But they have to trade their blood tithe to do it, and they still need to destroy the stadium. So looking for that braid. Digging deep for it. Find it, yeah. All right, we beat World Championship Grixis. That is the deck that won Worlds in 2022. So sweet, we scored. All right, we're against Skull. Stadium, but we've got some creatures. Castle Lock Queen, so probably Rakdos.
what, what, what is it with all the uh, super sweaty opponents here in bronze tier? Mono Green Devotion, World Championship Grixis, and now Rakdos. Rakdos is the uh, most popular Pioneer deck. I don't know about Explorer, but it is the most widely played deck in Pioneer. Um, I mean, I guess I'll trade for this Harvester, sure. Well, I guess I can just bounce this token. Do I want to add a counter to Fable? I don't think so. Just irks me that for all coming time, wherever this card is legal, you, you'll have to face it in pretty much every red deck. And two fables. Pretty hard to beat. Well, let's get down some token. I should play this first. Yoka's good with Fable of the Mirror Breaker, Bone Crusher Giant. Grateful Apparition. So we can't stop them from copying a Bone Crusher. Just run out our creatures. Like, what? What is this? <laughs> Why are you playing these cards? Got a fatal push. It's hard to go for the throat. So, I don't know how we can win um, with the double Kikis. I mean, they're missing their land drops is good, but... Eventually, they're going to find red source number two and be able to... And then number three. Oh, this, this isn't legendary. attack. Let's all gear.
none of these are particularly good. I guess I'll take the Hallowed Fountain. So at least if I draw Lay Down Arms, I'll be able to cast it on Bone Crusher. Sure. Sun from the heavens, Heliod will. Together we can exact justice. Another fable. So now the treasure tokens will let them start doing their BS. Alright, I will double block one of these tiki's. Oh, please, just stop. How long must this form the heart of a hero beats within your breast? Can I recast the outfit? No, I can't. Oh, I could have gotten extra damage in. I forgot about its ETB ability. Could have got one more point, but... Well, I mean, I have to do this. Can I draw lay down arms? That would be a good draw. Nope. So, which is real bad. So, I need lay down arms or it's over. I'm 
block shield or anything like that. Dose. It's a deck. So, settle the wreckage. Dovin's Veto. Fateful Absence. Heliod's Intervention. Rest in Peace. some of our bad cards, which is like our deck. <laughs> Many bad cards in our deck. Uh, just shave everything. Right, like that. Um, it's not a very good hand. I don't know if it's a mullable. We can blow up one fable. We got the stadium, so I guess that's a keep. Doesn't look like a keepable hand, but with this deck, looks can be deceiving. It'd be pretty bad if he got thought seized. Not on turn one, at least. That's good. on the board. Not sure what to make of what is happening in this game. Don't worry, you're Rakdos. You got the answer. Just play Fable. Fable push the apparition. What's the issue? No attack. Okay. Let's go with Strove. And Elfeth. Make some tokens. 
Prepare yourself, Heliod. I, I am proud of my comrade. Blow up the Elspeth. Planeswalker. Lithomantic Barrage. Double block the harvester. Lay down arms is good. Attack of Mutavault. All right, let's augury. Non land permanent. Ooh, feel the rune is good. Can get Elspeth back now. Yeah, they're playing slow. I'm seven minutes ahead of them. K command. Okay, that works. Uh, I guess I'll just gain some life. Stadium. We're up to the six. I will rend the sun from the heavens. If you are going to fight, fight beside me. Cannot escape my failures. Incredible innovation to run Bone Crusher Giant. Go for the 
Raptor. Come on, Skull. Your Rakdos, how hard can it be? There you go. Yes, just play your super efficient creature. There you go. Alright, let's blow up the Muta Vault. Can I draw like another uh, lay down arms? That would be nice. No. I think I'll play Elf again. Not escape my wrath. Together we can exact justice. Heal good. And a trade there, harvester from my raptor. Yeah, I'll trade three tokens for a Bone Crusher. Fatal Push would be pretty bad. We don't have it. Let's get down another stadium. Make some more dudes. If you are going to fight, fight beside me! Boy, I've got three lay down arms, two fateful absences, and a settle the wreckage. Any of which would be a good draw. Fatal push is open, okay. of the veil. I don't think so. We have no way to pressure it. Sure, I'll block Shieldred. Score a point. The Wandering Ember is pretty nice. I think I'll just play it now. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. My judgment is final. A battle lost, but not you are braver than you know. Play Bone Crusher Giant. No, I'm just gonna draw with Locked Wing, okay? I don't wanna lose my Emperor, so I'll just do Show that. Them how we greet our enemies. And I can't get Elspeth back yet. Start making tokens with Castle Ardenvale. Vale. 
another Liliana. No more distractions. Let's make this quick. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Lay down arms is a good draw. Let's make a samurai. Let your blade do the talking. Hey, let's attack Liliana. Do not touch me again. Attacking their blood. Children's Edict. Okay. Sure. Stadium. All right, let's get this lily off the board. They just scoot. <laughs> they can't beat the value. The stadium, it's ticking. It's coming for you. Okay, I think the raptor is either a four of or a zero of. I don't think you want to go three. Probably want all my experimental auguries. Ditch one serum snare. Stowaway. We were going to score big time there. I couldn't stop it. Mm, can't keep this one lander. That's pretty good. I like all these cards. Probably bought them up planes. Because they're playing a lot of uh, beauty vaults and castles. Fable right now, so that's an issue. Take one of our lay down arms. Let's turn out the stowaway. 
Nobody knows Dominaria's shadows like me. Yeah, one of your friends has to leave. Alright, I guess we just play Rip. Uh, probably should board out Elspeth when I bring in Rip, huh? Maybe Rip isn't the best uh, graveyard hate piece for this deck because I have Elsbeth. And Elsbeth is pretty good for this deck. I could play the other Elsbeth, uh, Elsbeth Archangel. I guess. I mean, I gotta kill this. Fable, every fable demands like two removal spells. Because you can't just let the shaman generate infinite mana. So, chance is pretty slender here. And they went to infinitesimal. It's a second paper. Heliod's intervention. Settle the wreckage. It's just gonna get discarded. Sell some cards. I, mean, I guess I settle because I'm just going to end up discarding it if I don't. I can't believe this isn't legendary. Ugh, it's just so busted. I just can't stand Fable. It's a terrible, terrible card. Draw land. I guess I can, you know, blow up their castle lock wing. didn't tick up Lily last turn. Reckoner Bank Buster, most commonly played card in standard. Because it's just that good.
more lands. Uh, I'm just gonna scoop. I, I have no chance at this point. Like, I can't deal with the Liliana. They have double Fable. They're gonna draw two extra cards off of uh, Bankbuster. Two cards in hand, a Mutavault. This is just a... Uh, this game is over. Well, fighting all the sweats. We did take game two, though. That was pretty sweet. We scored. All right, we're against Zondotal. Uh, yeah, this hand looks fine. Got a stadium. Mono red. Okay, some kind of equipment deck. Interesting. Go for Skrull. Guard his aid. Oh, that card's in Explorer, huh? Oh, Colossus Hammer. Fun. I'm so glad that they uh, brought this card in. Um. So I have to just chump. Actually, I can give it pro red. Oh, it just gives hexproof. Can't be blocked. So when it dies, it deals damage. I need to exile it. Shadow Spear. It gets equipped. So yeah, it has trample now. Okay. So, fateful absence. Settle the record. Heliod, Heliod's intervention. Do I want vetoes? I want a couple of vetoes. Shave some of our creatures. Go down to one scrub. We need creatures that can block. Alright, Faithful Absence is good. It still means a lot of damage from that goblin, but it's better than dying. They didn't have like turn one uh Sigarda's aid. Oh. 
Ted Helm. Alright, let's play our Raptor. Apart the raptor. Okay. You could play stadium and hold up fateful absence. Garter's aid. Another helm. Attaching it to itself. I don't think I have Fateful Absence here, actually. Do I? Yeah, let's go for it. Alright, Elspeth. Prepare yourself, dudes. Heliod. I have killed one. I am proud of my comrades. Fighter class. Can I get the Colossus Hammer? and equip. Okay, well, I will have to jump this thing for all eternity. It doesn't have trample. I will jump. Probably Vito? Can't let them get down a Shadow Spear. Kappa Ardenville would have been nice. But Vito's the safer play. Let's make some more dudes. Together we can exact justice. Get out of stowaway. Score a point. With that proliferate, that gives me another set of tokens from Elspeth, which is really nice. What does this do? Equip abilities cost two less. When a creature you control attacks up to one target creature, blocks at this combat if able. Destroy all creatures. 
Um, I think I'm actually fine with that. Get rid of that ogre. I can make two more guys. Uh, let's augur. Hmm. Probably just take fateful absence. Make some tokens. I am proud of my comrades. Vampire. That I will kill for sure. That's gonna drop the cards. And I think we got it. We're gonna score. No quest is easy. Believe in yourself as I believe in you. That's eight, nine, ten. Shoots, scores! Alright, stadium win. Uh, I think we're just running it right back. Alright, looks good. We got the stadium, we got lay down arms. Turn one cigar to speed, which is terrifying. We need to find some more planes. Okay, I want to wait till I have the stadium before I start using these auguries. Well, opponent has a slow start, so that's good news. Welcoming vampire. That's annoying. Let's score. I can Wandering Emperor exile it if it attacks. There's the hammer. And a Shadow Spear. Ooh. That is a tooled up vampire. Feel we'll exile the it. Of battle, then guide it with water. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. All right, let's augury. Take fateful absence. Let's shock Augury again.
I'll take stowaway. Let's make a samurai. Keep watch for intruders. See go. Astor, Bearer of Blades. When the ETBs look at the top seven, reveal an equipment or vehicle, put it into your hand. Equipment you control have equipped one. Vehicles have crew one. Okay. Gets the Ogre hel Head Helm. We'll just lay down arms it. The Astor. Augury. Guess I'll grab the spell dancer. Get in with our samurai. Stadium up to eight. Make another samurai. Guards, to me. And a stowaway, so they gotta kill the stadium or they're dead next turn. Maybe should have kept up Dovin's veto. Yeah. Dang it. Should have kept up Dovin's veto. That was silly. I didn't need the stowaway. I think we're still in good shape. Deck in stone. Alright. Let's attack with the stowaway. Flip it. I'll discard that island. Yeah, I want to flip my stowaway, so I'm just gonna make a samurai and pass. Keep watch for intruders. Rip apart the emperor. Um. Yeah, I think I'll counter that. I like my Emperor. Still away flips again. Let's counter up my samurai. Remember your training. Attack for four. Play stadium. I think I'll just pass and leave up fateful absence.
just attacking me for two. Um, I'll just take two. Colossus Hammer? Okay. In that case, I will face absence. their clue. They've got a den of the bug bear. Alright, let's make a samurai. Guards, to me. Let's make some more dudes. Even the gods cannot escape my wrath. Courage will bloom for all apparition. who seek justice. And score a couple points. Discard the land. Activates the den. Equip Shadow Spear. Okay, well, this is going to be good for us. Trade for the goblin, for, for the den, blocked token. Oh, it has trample. I need to double block. I don't think it matters, though. Uh, because... We are going to win right now. Score. That's ten points. We shoot, we score. That's a stadium win. <laughs> Is this actually a good strategy? We're like two and two. And we're against Baufish. Baufish. Um, yeah, this is fine. Don't even know what that is. Rafine's Tower. Keep drawing blue cards. Let's attack with Skrell. Get our gleeful apparition. Grateful apparition. Grateful apparition, that is, not gleeful. Okay, it looks like they're just control. Yeah, let's attack. So... Almost certainly have a Wrath next turn. I think I... And they almost certainly have a counter spell right now.
They also could just make a 2 2 shark. So I think I'll just attack with the apparition. Go for another apparition since I have a third one in hand. Wandering Emperor. You started this fight, but I'm going to end it. Strike fast and strike hard. Temporary lockdown. Gonna get our board. Keep watch for intruders. Oh, we're good at drawing grateful apparitions. Spell tears. Missing we're missing land drops a lot too, that's not good. We would like to have four lands. May your blade strike true. Yeah. This might get countered or killed. Counter. Alright, we finally find land number four. Good game from my opponent. I always like it when people give the premature good game. Yeah, I don't think we can afford to shock that, so... Flensing Raptor. Uh, I think actually we can at this point scoop because we're just too far behind. So, blue white control, always fun. We want Dovin's Veto. We want Fateful Absence, Heliod's Intervention, Pithy Needle. We're going to name Wandering Emperor with Pithy Needle, so we'll board out ours. And just shave these bad creatures. I like the Serum Snares, because they do have a lot of tokens. Uh, 
All right. We got a pivoting needle. That's good. We got a stadium. We need to draw some lands, but we have double uh, augury. it or make disappear yep Let's go for Augury. I'll grab a Dovin's Veto. I think I just hold up Veto. I don't want to run into a shark. Alright, let's play Stowaway. Again, don't want to run into a shark. Memory Deluge, okay. down arms. Oh, that's something we should have boarded out for sure. Okay. Let's get in with the stowaway. I would like to flip it. Loot away, lay down arms for sure. Ooh, grab another veto or a stadium. It's gotta be veto. I would I against blue white control. It's just so hard to actually resolve spells. Pity needle. Alright. Get in with the werewolf. Fateful absence. Bounce back to our hand and proliferate. Oh, I could have just used Skrelv. Let's 
pithing needle on Teferi. They counter. That's fine. Stowaway again. Keeping Skrell to protect it. They go for Deluge. Two more deluges in their graveyard? Jeez. Alright, there's the stadium. Do I want to toxic it up? Toxic it up. Nah, I just want to protect it. It's drawing any cards. Go for another memory deluge. in their graveyard. <laughs> they cast those last couple from hand. Wedding announcements. That's fine. Well, I, there's nothing I can do about that. It's a veto. Augury. What do they have in the way of lands? They have a castle Ardenvale. So I'll grab a field of ruin. Choo Choo Shark. Um, we theoretically can win next turn. The question is, do I Fateful Absence this shark? It's unlikely that we would win, but it's theoretically possible. 
Okay, I think I need to feel the ruin the castle hard to veil. Nah, I don't think I'd kill the shark. Temporary lockdown. There's almost no chance this Heliod's intervention resolves, but I think I gotta go for it. Uh, I think I wait, actually, so that I can pay for Spell Pierce. Wandering Emperor. Invasion of New Phyrexia. We get seven two two tokens. Okay. Well, we can lay down arms one. They're all vigilant, too. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. You get an emblem with knights, you can draw get plus one, plus zero, and have ward one. Okay, so... Let's make a token. Let's fateful absence one of these that's attacking me. Sure. Okay. So we're going down to eight counters on the stadium, but we can still win on our turn. 
Did they get their Teferi? But that doesn't stop what we're doing. We will win the day. They only have one land up. I think we got it. We'll hit you into last week. Shuffle target non-land permanent. Okay. They can shuffle my... They can shuffle my stadium. <clears throat> well, we got close. Now I think it's truly over. Well, I can kill the Teferi. There's still a sliver of hope. Okay. Well, let's be for absence one of these knights. I don't think there's any way we could have stopped Teferi from... Uh, we could have stopped them from flipping the battle. They'd spent five creatures at it. So the most I possibly could have blocked was two. Which means they still would have got three through and flipped the battle anyway, so... Unfortunate. Alright. GG's. Well, we didn't quite score that time. We got real close, though. We got really, really close. So, that's going to do it for tonight. And, um, what did we end up? Like, two and three? But, uh, we fought some really, really, uh, sweaty decks. We fought, you know, Mono Green Devotion. We fought World Championship Grixis, who we beat. We fought, you know, just meta Rakdos, most popular deck in Pioneer. Took a game off him. I mean, I think the deck is fun and uh, it's kind of good. Um, I feel like I want maybe some surge of what's that new card? The like white, uh, the white veil of summer, surge of something or other. White instant speed, white one mana instant that um, gives your permanence hexproof that might be good to help protect the stadium as like a one or two of I also kind of feel like um, I don't know the toxic plan didn't really work out very well I like the uh, the proliferate with the planeswalkers and the stadium but maybe the toxic angle could be could be cut um, flinging rapper is in there because it's an evasive toxic creature um, but it just didn't seem to do much I don't think you'll ever get a uh, get a toxic win with this deck so those probably should just be other proliferate cards maybe some more planeswalkers i mean the wandering emperor is busted elspeth sun's nemesis i actually was quite impressed with uh, how the card works in this deck so cutting the flinding raptors you could add just more copies of planeswalkers you know you could add like teferi um but i think you want to stay kind of low to the ground um but yeah, I think it's fun. It's a fun deck, and it actually can win some games, as we saw. It did take some games away from, from the top of the meta. So I'm pleased with the... I think we scored. We scored big time. But that is going to do it for this session. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below if you like off-meta, off-kilter MTG content like this. It really helps out a lot. I hope you have a very good evening, and I will see you in the next installment. Peace out.